वेलकम टू रीबिल टू माई चर्च अकेन आर एम सी ए बिशप चैनल मे गॉड ब्लेस यू फॉर सब्सक्राइबिंग दिस चैनल एंड मे ही रिवॉर्ड यू फॉर योर गुड विल टू लिसन टू दिस स्पिरिचुअल टॉक ऑन पीटर एंड जूडस इन एवरीबडी टूडे गॉड हैज चोजन यू फ्रॉम एमंग मेनी फॉर हियरिंग दिस टॉक सरेंडर ऑल योर प्रॉब्लम्स एंड वरीज डिफिकल्टीज एंड एंगजाइटीज at the fruit of the cross as you listen this talk prayerfully and attentively i am sure god will shower his mercy upon you and upon your family god created man with intellect and will this faculty to think evaluate and make decisions makes man free god does not interfere in the choices of man but at the same time god does not leave man in darkness as to what he desires from him now it is for man to decide what he should do man is totally free to do what he wants he enjoys fully the freedom of choices if you look at judas career we find that he was totally free to betray or not to betray jesus the disciples were with jesus for the last supper during the supper he mentioned that one of them would betray him it meant that only jesus knew exactly who was going to do that of the 13 people present only jesus and judas knew the matter exactly other 11 disciples did not know what was going to happen So one by one asked Jesus am i the one and Jesus did not open his mouth Peter wanted to be smarter than others and so he said as if boasting that he will never do it Jesus looked at him intently and said Peter before the cock crows thrice you will deny me but nobody even took that seriously Here the name of Peter is revealed only because he wanted to outsmart everybody in the group probably he could have avoided that of course the poor man did not know what was in store for him but in the given circumstances Jesus already saw everything what Judas and Peter were going to do as if in a tv screen that's why Jesus could predict exactly everything Here there are two cases. The first case is that of Judas. In this case, he and Jesus knew what precisely Judas had agreed upon with the leaders of scribes, Pharisees and the high priests and how much money they had fixed with Judas which was which he was going to collect immediately after the meal. It was his reward for the act of betraying Jesus. That's why Jesus said go and do quickly. what you have to do judas went and collected the 30 pieces of silver from them as his remuneration the second case is that of peter in this case peter did not know what was going to happen but jesus knew the common factor in these two cases is that jesus did not try to stop both of them from what they were going to do he did not in the fear in their decision taken at different situations he did not manipulate to change them to change their decisions he left them totally free that is the beauty of the way that god is he respects each one's freedom of choice whether it is abortion ethnic cleansing lgbt marriage conflicts in the name of religion economy power equations in politics and other areas etc but this is a dangerous situation because man is going to be held totally responsible for what he does by god he cannot blame anybody yes you can refuse to act on a wrong thing even at the cost of your life you can refuse to do it but if you act if you do something wrong 
know that you are totally free to do it and therefore god is going to be going to hold you totally responsible even if you are forced constrained to do if it is wrong you can refuse to do it martyrs are born like that so if you act in the wrong way then you are fully responsible therefore for a moment think how you act in your life what type of relationships you entertain and what type of company you keep it is all your choice with regard to your fulfilling your obligations towards others what are the choices you have made your relationship with your parents with your brothers and sisters with your children with your neighbors you have made some choices are they the right choices so also is the same with regard to the use of resources that god has given to you including your body you need to take responsibility for what you do no matter what the situation is you are responsible for your actions before god and accountable for what you do because it is your decision whether you have made this decision with or without enough consideration or not is another point there may be so many factors that could reduce your responsibility but they cannot totally eliminate it here i am not del- deliberately considering the aspect of knowledge and ignorance i am taking knowledge and information taken for granted since the cases that we discuss are that of judas and peter where both had enough knowledge and information about the situation in which they were in the third common factor in both these cases is that both erred the gravity of the erring of the error in both cases could be different similarly the logic behind their decisions were also different for judas there was enough time to reach a decision to act the way he acted it could be presumed that judas had discussions with the powers that be whereas in the case of peter there was no time to discuss with anybody the simple logic of peter at that moment was might have been that the need of the time was to avoid getting caught by those who caught jesus at that time peter only wanted to hide his identity about himself from the servant girl so that she may not pass on the information to the soldiers and others that he was the disciple of jesus for that purpose he denied that he was he did not even know him on that occasion he had no intention actually to deny jesus but unfortunately all what he did amounted to the denial of jesus as foretold by him peter remembered and understood it only when the cock crowed three times and jesus looked at him with compassion that led peter to repent and to weep bitterly for what he did to his lord and master similarly judas also had his logic but it did not work as he expected probably judas only wanted some money he thought he can cheat the, he could cheat the jews he probably might have thought that as in the past the jews could never lay hands on him that time also judas was right in thinking because in as many as in many occasions judas himself had witnessed how jesus escaped from their hands when they actually wanted to arrest him and kill him with those previous experiences judas was sure that jesus would escape and that he would get the money as well it was a good business proposal as such but to the surprise of surprise of judas who was the most intelligent disciple of jesus his logic did not work out they came out with a large number of soldiers carrying weapons and arrested jesus and took him away at that judas wept bitterly and to atone for his sin he went and tried to give back the money he received 
from them as remuneration for betraying Jesus. But they refused to take the money back. That led him to commit suicide. It was a negative lesson for the world to learn. What we need to learn today is that all these human logics do not work with God. This is the fact that we need to accept in humility. God has given us freedom using the intellect and will. It's not supposed to be for one's own advantage only. The God-given intellect and will should be used primarily to discern the will of God and then man should act according to that only. If he does not discern the will of God, then man is going to act by human logic alone. That is the unpardonable error of man before God. My dear friend, therefore, let me repeat and repeat a thousand times. We must use our intellect and will primarily for discerning the will of God and act accordingly. Please. We cannot always go by our logic alone. We need to obey and there is no option for it. We need to obey God. That's why in every situation we need to surrender and go on our knees to search and discern the will of God. Our saints in the Catholic Church are those who showed us how they stuck to the will of God. That's why they often came in conflict with those living with them. For example, their family members, community members, companions, friends, etc. They did not compromise on the will of God. That was the reason for their conflicts. The saints followed the divine logic in their thoughts, words and deeds. And others failed to understand that. So, naturally, there was conflict with others and the saints grievously suffered for it. Saint Padre Pio of San Giovanni Rotondo in Italy and Saint Alfonso FCC of Baranganam, India are just two examples for similar things. They suffered a lot. Most of the saints would have similar stories to narrate which we could get from their biography. And we can learn from them and take them as models for us. There is a humorous comment. To live with saints on earth is hell. But I tell you, saints are capable of making heaven out of hell. They make it a reality in their own lives by suffering silently with a smile. We are called to be saints. Be holy as my heavenly father is. Holy is the command we have received from Jesus. With the burden of the original sin still continuing to have its impact on our human nature, the task would seem unsurmountable. But nothing is impossible for God. His grace is enough to discern His holy will in every situation. Therefore, Psalm 3320 reminds us about what we need to do. I quote, We wait in hope for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. So my dear friend, when nothing seems to be going right in your life, don't despair. Pray and ask for God's help and then wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait upon the Lord. Psalm 27, 14 Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Isaiah 40, 31 Therefore, don't be. Don't let disappointments cause you to give up. Instead, be confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Jesus Christ. Philippines 1 6. So my dear friend, always hold unswervingly 
to the hope we profess for he who promised is faithful hebrews 10:23 that's all for the day now my dear friend share this message which you are with your near and dear ones so that by this small but a good and spiritual act you may please god let us pray please re- repeat after me o oh god bless rmca family the regular listeners who already heard and shared this talk lord touch them and heal them liberate them and inspire them motivate them and guide them protect them and bless them lord give them the humility to be obedient to your commandments the courage to live as witnesses of your son jesus and the worthiness to be filled with the power of the holy spirit lord bless them with the freedom to be faithful to the teachings of the church and to defend the church in every situation let every rmc a listener be blessed with the intercession of mary and joseph whenever he or she is in need transform all of them into your loving children o lord so that they may enjoy peace and happiness in their life amen now i give you my apostolic blessing may almighty god bless you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen after a few hours from now listen one more talk and it will bring you more god's blessings wish you all good things in life yours in the mission of the church bishop franco molakel